dear viewers, the first fault was 2310, that means overcurrent. You can see the picture, when I open the motor, motor coil inside, you can see the picture in here the very clearly, it's a lot of dust in here, inside the coil of this model. The motor capacity is 360 kilowatt, huge big motor for using the induction motor and three phase supply connections. It's run from the via VFD brand ABB ACS 880. You can see the picture in here, it's sparking is for due to the dust. Here is huge dust, so for that reason, there is a sparking happen. And for coil one is damaged, one coil is damaged. You can see the picture. So, first of all, we need to clean the motor. How we clean the motor, you can see. So, this is 10 minute engineering solutions. Okay, well type dust. You can see the here in the well type dust in here. So lots of well type dust in include there inside the motor. So that's why model is failing. Why the motor is fail? For due to the loss of moisture carry the dust with the well type making the well type. There is a huge dust. So there's coil contact with the dust and then ultimately spark happen. This is the sparking spot. So this is the way we're trying to use the T7 thinner for cleaning the motor properly. You can see the picture in here. We are using the T7 thinner for cleaning purpose. If in your plant have the, the big motor, so like the compressor motor. So we have to open the yearly at least yearly one time. Or if possible, if it is very easy for to movement or clear, clear space, so I recommend it is that I think it will be um, uh, yearly two times you have to open and clean the motor if this motor is air cool system. If there is air cool system, a lot of dust is carrying and go through the inside the coil and uh, lots of dust are in, accumulated for the motor coil. So that's why motor coil is shorted with the body or the coil to coil. That's why it happened a big problem. We just contacted with the OEM of this motor. So they are suggested for the at least 70 lakh BDD for the price of this motor. That's why we just trying to uh, first of all uh, clean the motor and all the side you can see the picture in here which are using the T7 thinner and then using the LPO pressure for the high low pressure using for the clean the properly inside the slot. You can see we are applying the air pressure including the uh, thinner. So that's why clean the properly. You have to see the video full video otherwise you cannot uh, recognize the full system how the clean how the water the stay for the fully after cleaning the heating system and again the burnishing system. So if you want to uh, the similar type of motor in your plant or in your industry, you just follow my applications. So it will be, the motor will be longevity. So not not, uh, not happen in it in kind of breakdown for uh, like me. My motor is running well, but some uh, suddenly happened the fault so the fault is overcurrent. So when I opened the coil, that's why I just found a lot of dust inside the motor. So that's why I'm just open and clean the motor first look, and then I just try to fitting it again and then try to run off it. Hopefully it will be working well. So okay, let's just start then later. So I just I have to clean the first the motor. Okay, you see applying the air pressure lp air pressure including the with the thinner and then for the clean the properly inside and out we just trying to clean it inside coil inside and outside after cleaning we just given heat for properly, uh, properly uh, heating the coil all the varnish uh, all the uh, you know there is uh, the thinner need to be vaporized and the fully clean there is no wet condition in the coil so after varnish, after heating condition, then we just applying the varnish. After heating, now given the varnish, you can see we are applying the varnish inside and outside of the coil. 
for the better performance or the insulation resistance higher. So we just using in the heater and then I varnish. You can see. It's most important and carefully you have to check and uh, see the video for the better understanding. After burnishing, we are applying the heat. You know, you know there is the burnishing is done. Burnish completed now. Now we just applying heat. Again heat for uh, drying the burnish properly. After burnish heating the coils, uh, we just measure the mega resistance of this coil, coil to body. You can see the resistance is more to the test body to motor coil. So found the accepted and good result. 150 mega ohms and minimum we got the 120 mega ohms that means is that now the test body is completed and the accepted result of the mega ohms of the motor coil you can see the picture in here 244 251 to 60 mega ohms that means coil to make uh, body is if the value is got the up to the 100 it will be okay so now I just want to share the, the motor is feeding condition. Now the we just motor is feeding after checking the resistance. This is the motor with the given the connections, three phase connection. You can see the picture in here. This is the motor, big motor, 360 kilowatt. Given our thing connections properly, and then this is the big motor. We are using in the high pressure compressor motor. You can see the picture in here. The the brand is the Bellisim Narcom. Okay, this is the run power on conditions. Now the power is off, but speed is zero. Motor current is also zero, but ambient temperature is showing of this motor 32.3. Okay, now we just try to run off of the motor. Okay, we just turn on the motor. Motor speed is using the 733 uh, speed RPM, motor current 593, and ambient temperature is showing the 43.3. Okay, I hope the video is uh, helpful for you. Thank you for listening to me.